A tense exchange between Prime Minister Trudeau and Chinese President Xi Jinping on the sidelines of the G20 summit in Bali. If in there Canada, is sincerity we on your part, free and open and frank dialogue, and that is what we will continue to have. We will continue to look to work constructively together, but there will be things we will disagree on. Now, Xi was upset that the Prime Minister released notes of a meeting between the two leaders on Tuesday. Xi accused Trudeau of harming diplomatic relations between the two countries. Speaking with reporters later, Trudeau defended the release, saying, that's how things work in a democracy. For more on that, let's now bring in a senior political correspondent for CTV News Channel, Mike Lecouture. Mike, good afternoon. It's good to see you. A lot is being made of what has happened between Trudeau and Xi Jinping. Talk to us about the reaction that's coming in from Ottawa. Yeah, especially when you consider interactions like that, Akshay, not often captured on camera. And that mm -hmm. was the Canadian media pool traveling with Prime Minister Justin Trudeau uh, that was able to ca capture that tense exchange and that terse comment uh, that we had heard from President Xi, who basically said that it was not appropriate for Prime Minister Justin Trudeau to be sharing the details of that 10-minute conversation that they had just the other day at the start of the G20 Leaders Summit in that exchange or in that discussion that they did have. Um, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and his office said a number of topics were discussed, including climate change, North Korea's missile launches, human rights, uh, China's interference in Canadian elections, and also the Russian invasion of Ukraine. But what we are seeing here in these images clearly is a dissatisfied or displeased President Xi, and you have to wonder how that will affect the relations going forward. Uh, certainly the Canadian spin on this is that this is uh, the Prime Minister in a positive light. Have a listen to Francois-Philippe Champagne, foreign, uh, former Foreign Affairs Minister. He had some comments going in to his caucus meeting earlier today. At least my take is the Prime Minister uh, speaking fairly and loudly uh, about, uh, you know, making sure that Canada's interests are, are well uh, registered uh, by the Chinese leadership. That's what I saw when I saw the image of the Prime Minister, is him making the case for Canada and saying what is unacceptable. So in Champagne's view, um, Prime Minister Trudeau making the case for Canada, but certainly how this will all play out, Akshay, uh, I think we will only see in the days and weeks to come when you consider that the relationship between China and Canada was already a little frosty, mm -hmm. and you wonder whether or not it will really get colder after this. Indeed. Let's also talk about the other issue, Mike, which was, of course, making headlines the last uh, almost two days and a point of discussion with many mm -hmm. leaders uh, at the G20. The missile strike in Poland was also part of all of that conversation. What came out of that emergency leaders meeting? Yeah, it was interesting because it was almost like a G7 plus plus, and I say plus plus because the head of the European Council was in that meeting. Uh, you also had um, a, a number of others, uh, like-minded nations, like the head of um, the Netherlands, Mark Rutte, in that meeting as well. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau talking about how allies continue to stand together as they were trying to assess uh, really what was happening with that missile strike. We had also heard that there was a meeting um, that was uh, held a conference call. You had the UK uh, Prime Minister uh, Rishi Sunak who was on the phone with Prime Minister Trudeau, they were in the same room and then speaking as well to Vladimir Zelensky about uh, not only the missile attack, but also Canada continuing uh, to push and have Operation Unifier operate inside of the UK. That's the operation where Canadian forces are training Ukrainian forces. That has gotten an extension now until 2023, uh, the end of 2023. But have a listen to Prime Minister Trudeau in his uh, closing press conference in Indonesia talking exactly uh, about Ukraine. One thing that's certain is that the loss of life in Poland was a consequence of Russia's latest indiscriminate attacks on Ukrainians. These missiles are killing innocent people and destroying civilian buildings and are yet another demonstration of why it's so essential to continue supporting Ukraine. And I'll show you that support of Ukraine and also the fallout from Canada-China relations. We'll have more of that at 5 o'clock Eastern on Power Play later on today. We'll be watching out for that. And that's CDV's senior political correspondent, Mike Couture in Ottawa. Thank you for this, Mike. Appreciate it.